Hi everybody, my name is Jason, and that's it. We are the Yahoo and the Torah channel, and I am a single spoke on my wheel today because we're having more issues inside of our little clan here. And so, unfortunately, everybody is out doing their stuff, and I will be the MC, and I will like to share with you some of the best news that I could possibly ever share with you, and that is the Law, Statutes, and Commands of our Creator. Now, we came up with 22 commands in the last chapter, and so we have a new chapter that I'd like to read today, and there are actually no commands in it, which is why it will be pretty easy reading, and I'm just going to get into this, and hopefully we can get this dialed in, but where Eli and I have made this oath to Yah, because he delivered all of our animals back to us in a safe fashion... We said that we would do this before noon, and so sometimes it's just going to be a single spoke. I don't have much of an answer for that other than we absolutely have to fulfill our obligation to Yah, and so here I am. I hope you guys are well. All right, this is Exodus 24. And he said unto Moshe, Come up unto El Yahuwah, you and Aaron, Nadav, Avahu, and seventy of the elders of Yashrael, and worship ye afar off. And Moshe alone shall come near El Yahuwah, but they shall not come nigh, neither shall the people go up with him. And Moshe came and told the people all the words of Yahuwah and all the judgments. And all the people answered with one voice and said, all the words which Yahuwah has said, we will do. And Moshe wrote all the words of Yahuwah and rose up early in the morning and built an altar under the hill and 12 pillars according to the 12 tribes of Yashrael. And he sent young men of the children of Yashrael, which offered ascending smoke offerings and sacrificed peace offerings of oxen unto Yahuwah. And Moshe took half of the blood and put it in basins, and half of the blood he sprinkled on the altar. And he took the sephir of the covenant and read in the audience of the people, and they said, All that Yahuwah has said, we will do and be obedient. And Moshe took the blood and sprinkled it on the people and said, Behold, the blood of the covenant which Yahuwah has cut with you concerning all these words. Then went up Moshe and Aaron, Nadav, Abihu, and 70 of the elders of Yashrael. And they saw the Elohai of Yashrael, and there was under his feet as it were a paved work of sapphire stone, and as it were the body of heaven in his clearness. Now this does go kind of against other places in the Torah, where it says they nobody has ever seen the face of Yahuwah and lived. So there's another story further on where Moshe is wants to see Yah, and he passes by and he puts his hand over him because if not he would be uh, burned. He would he wouldn't make it. And so we gotta kind of look at these things and in you know can we see the face of Yahuwah and live? I, I don't believe we can. And it says it in, in, in various places. So it's interesting here that they said they saw the Elohai of Yashrael. And it didn't say they it saw his face. It doesn't say it saw his body. But I mean, it could be a giant fiery something. And that could be the, the Elohai of Yashrael. So I, I don't believe we are able to see Yahuwah and live. And upon the nobles of the children of Yashrael, he laid not his hand. Also, they saw Elohim and did eat and drink. So there it is again, right? And it says twice in this chapter. So if we went just with what this chapter says, people can see Elohim, but we know they can't see the face of Elohim and live based upon other stuff. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, come up to me into the mount and be there. And I will give you sapphire stone and a Torah and commandments, which I have written that you may teach them. And Moshe rose up. And his minister, Yahushua, and Moshe went up into the Mount of Elohim. And he said unto the elders, Tarry ye here for us until we come again unto you. And behold, Aaron and Korah are with you. If any man have any matters to do, let him come unto them. And Moshe went up into the Mount, and a cloud covered the Mount. And the glory of Yahuwah abode upon Mount Sinai, and the cloud covered it six days. And the seventh day he called unto Moshe out of the midst of the cloud. And the sight of the glory of Yahuwah was like devouring fire on the top of the mount in the eyes of the children of Yashrael. So there's another picture that we have of Yah that they looked, 
but it they were they you know it looks like a uh, devouring fire um so that could just uh you know that's obviously not his face but it um and that could also be what they they saw up close um but moshe probably got to see something more but not his face verse 18 and moshe went into the cl- midst of the cloud and got him up into the mount and moshe was in the mount 40 days and 40 nights all right, so with that, because I am limited on my spokes, and it's a lot more fun when I actually have the rest of the family here, and we are attempting to reschedule all of our schedules so that we can get this in. And when we're running a very busy, active life with 10 pit bulls and a farm, and if you don't grow it, we don't eat it, sitting down for an hour in the very morning um, is a killer. It's a real killer on the schedule. And so we're trying to figure this out so that Eli and I can keep our duties to Yah. And I know that he will provide and he will help us with our timing like he always does. So with that, folks, uh, I wish you guys a very good day. I hope you guys are blessed and much love to you. I'm out.